Today's video is brought to you by Gray Viking Games. Click the link in the description below to buy MTG Arena codes for cosmetics, packs, and more. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic and uh, we are playing Ultimatum, Jorgen Ultimatum, but not the one that's boring, not the one that everyone's been doing. We're doing a different one. <laughs> so Eerie Ultimatum, three copies of this in the, in the deck. Uh, Two, two white, three black, two green, sorcery, uh, return any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. And so if we have something battlefield, which all of our uh, all of our sagas go to the battlefield, go to the graveyard pretty quickly. Anything that we sacrifice of our own for from Dude Foretold goes to the graveyard. So this is basically like our version of Dance of the Mance with Dude Foretold um, to be able to bring everything back to the battlefield, have a bunch of triggers, a bunch of value. Yeah, we don't get four fours out of it, but Aerial Ultimatum is awesome anyway. And so it's just fun. You know, we get to grab other good things from the graveyard and just win the game that way and so that's the game plan here and i also realized i hadn't ever played the actual doom foretold turgrid deck uh, i've done a lot of like other things like it i've used turgrid for a lot of stuff but i've never actually just like went on for a full-on doom foretold deck and so we're doing that today uh it's so it's actually a surprise i haven't seen doom foretold around as much as just the other stuff right now you know and so anyway this is it so basically uh that, that's the basic idea of the deck i'm gonna do a deep dive real quick here uh if you guys do like the channel though make sure you hit the like button make sure that you subscribe to the channel uh, i think i checked out there was um 500 000, it was like four hundred and seventy-five thousand uh views from last month that were from unsubscribed people uh and so if you guys want to subscribe you know there's five hundred thousand of you guys out there basically that like my content that don't subscribe you know just do it It'd be great. Thank you. All right, let's jump into this. So basically, early turns, we want to make sure that we have removal. We have Glass Casket, Birth Melitus to slow the game down a little bit, get us extra lands. Uh, Elspeth's Nightmare, Omen of the Sun to get, uh, slow things down a bit more, Soul Shatter. Uh, and then we have a bunch of board wipes. So Doom Scar and Crippling Fear to hopefully be good enough board wipes for the early game. Uh, Binding Old Gods for a little bit more removal. We have to hit probably two pieces of removal or things that slow down the game in our opening hand because I am only running two two drops and everything else in the three drops. And so as long as we have three removal spells in the, in the three drop slot, the things that will actually work well and do okay, uh, or, you know, are the curve, you know, turn three, turn four, then we then we have a shot with this. And so we have to have those. Uh, could definitely get hit by just not finding our board wipes or not finding the right removal at the right time. So we're going to probably have to mulligan aggressive, aggressively for it. But if we do get past that stage, we suddenly have an amazing hand. If we do find our board wipe, if we do find the removal spells that we need for it at the right times, then this deck becomes awesome. Do we're told just making them sack with everything they have left, you know, all the things that this deck has done for forever anyway it's awesome so uh, we also have Calyx to just be able to have some exile removal, throw it underneath the Doom Foretold or something. Yeah, it might come back to the battlefield, but if we can deal with it for a turn, that's going to be great for us, and that's what we need. Uh, and then, of course, everything goes to the graveyard eventually. Else with Nightmares, our Ben the Old Gods, whatever else, things get sacrificed to Doom Foretold. And then we go grab our, our find our Aerial Ultimatum in the, top, in the late game, bring everything back, and win games. Like, that's kind of, that's, that's what we're trying to do, you know? And so, uh, Turgrid also just to have an extra win con with Doom Foretold, just steal their stuff is another way we can go for it uh else with conquer's death to be able to bring stuff back from the graveyard also just another thing to, to come back from the graveyard and life's good i wanted to have one thing on the top end that was just like a, an ultimate win con with aerial ultimatum if we you know even if it does die you can come back and ugin just fits that slot perfectly just as a one of an 80 card deck i feel like it's okay guys no one hate me just for running one ugin okay yes it's the most busted thing in standard right now though it's not like that's the other thing is that there's so many other busted things out there that that even this isn't seen played in the top tier decks you know so so let just let's just remember that okay so let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay see how this deck does for us and wish me luck here we go all right up against manila beans and we do have on the play omen of the suns are, are quick enough up against another yorion deck as well hopefully we get some scry for some other lands that we need we have our colors so decent hand um if we're up against the other ultimatum deck though we're in a little bit of trouble because i don't have any counter spells in this deck because we're not running blue and that alone means that we probably lose this deck like that's that's the sad thing of this is that deck is just so busted that that's what it takes uh doom scar i don't think is useful here it could be nice to be able to kill like board wipe after ultimatum but if they get to it we're just in trouble anyway i think we're hoping to try to get them to start discarding with turret or whatever and start stealing their stuff um, Soul Shatter can actually be pretty nice too, though. All right, let's throw this out on uh, black. Then we have white here. Yeah, we have all of our colors, so life's good. Uh, we need, I think it's three black for the Eerie Ultimatum as well. So yeah, two white, two green, and three black, I believe. 
Uh, just in case they have counter spells. Let's, let's just throw this out now. They might have a Valky as well, but we can always Soul Shatter and get it, the Yorion back. Alright, Cultivates. Yep, doing the ramp thing. Cool. And swing in. We can create a lot of tokens on the board. That's something, right? Pass the turn. Totally going to win games just with these tokens and not def definitely not get ultimatum right away. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it's possible that we have a shot here. Not very likely at all, but, you know, it's possible. All right. Omen of the Sun, number two. I might just go for the Ugin right away, or the Yorion right away, just to get as much power on the board as possible. And then we'll hope for no extinction event or anything like that. Um, yeah, I mean, we actually are hitting in for quite a bit of damage. And then we get... Yeah, so we'll have close to lethal, actually. Let's see, we'll have... We'll be two away from lethal if it all resolves. Cool stuff. All right, go Yorion. Should bounce these guys too. Ah, don't do that. That's dumb. <laughs> Not that I know from experience or anything. No, I don't. But, all right. Uh, my hope here is that they don't have any other blue source. They didn't find that with Cultivate either. So, I mean, that should mean they have it in hand, right? But they're still a ways away from playing the ultimatum. All right, they have everything. All right. Cool, cool, cool. We have to try because that's our best chance of winning is just getting in there as quick as possible against this deck. All right, so let's throw out uh, on white, I think, because I need the other black source. I do need another blue green source as well. Uh, this is fine. All right, uh, bring Yorian to hand. Hold up Soul Shatter, pass the turn. And let's hope for no ultimatum. I'm trying to remember what colors they need for it. Yorion. All right, Soul Shatter. Sacrifice the Yorion. Um, we have six mana. Definitely wouldn't mind just keep hitting lands to get up to Ugin. I might even sack one of these, but I, I do want to also just play out the Yorion. We can kind of hope that they don't have answers. Oh, man, a land would be so good because of all the things that we have in our graveyard. Wait a minute. All right, go Yorion. I think we just keep hitting in with this. Right now, I think we're going to sacrifice these. On a six. Yeah, I mean, because if we can find a black or green source off the top, then suddenly we get these back anyway with your, your ultimatum. If they do find a way to kill Yorion, then life's great. We still get that back too. Um, so yeah, this is... So all we have to do is find a green or black source untapped off the top. And also hope they don't have ultimatum. Please. <laughs> Pretty please. Elspeth's Nightmare. All right, no ultimatum. That's a good sign. Uh, they could have Counterspell as well. But we're going to sacrifice this. That works. Do I just keep both of these? Uh, getting an eighth land for Ugin could also be really nice. Uh, sure. Ugin's also probably going to get discarded here. So we might want to just find another ultimatum. Treacherous Blessing. Sure. I'll, I'll keep that on top. All right. So. Black, black, black. Yeah. So grab a green source or a black source. Doesn't really matter, right? 
I have more ways to tutor up green sources, so we'll just go ahead and grab the black mana. Here we ultimatum. Please don't have a counter spell. And that's our 8th land. I forgot that we also get to hit the lands with Aerial Ultimatum. Um, oh, I can only want one of each color. Right. Alright, Blink the Omen. Um, oh, I already I cracked the Kill Passage, right? So it didn't matter what I sacrificed. That's right. We're good. We're good. I gotcha. <laughs> Alright, well, we have Lethal on board. They get to take our Ugin, which is annoying. And then we just hope for another ultimatum. Hopefully they don't have their ultimatum. We at least have blockers for what they can be playing to a little bit. Two to the bottom. I mean, that's a good sign. They're feeling like they need to be scrambling. We do have lethal on board. We have another Yorion to play. Eliminates. All right. Home of the sun. Still have lethal on board. Takes the Ugin. Some ways we might want that in the graveyard. We'll see. Is this ultimatum better? I, I don't actually think so against this matchup. They don't have the... Oh, sweet. They can take our Yorion. Okay. We have a glass casket, so we can get it back. I already knew our hand. Uh, so that, I mean, that means no ultimatum. That's a good sign. It's a very good sign. Oh, it can become a Yorion. Right. Okay, I'm, I, I'm kind of fine with that being their whole turn. It means we get in for three, right? They're going to exile our graveyard now, actually. I forgot about that part of it, too. All right, um... I don't think we need any more white mana. Yeah, just grab another black source. Oh, come on. Should have, should have scried. Swing in. Heal passage, crack this, and then we'll scry. I'm just doing it now so I don't forget. Pass the turn. Down to three. Exiles our graveyard. Yep. Not sacking this now. That, that's why I didn't sack Disguise, because I wanted this to be in graveyard in case we ran into an ultimatum. So, you know, like, so then it's not a complete dead card. I did it on purpose. Clearly. <laughs> Boring Clax just has another blocker to keep them alive for another turn. Sweet. Uh, so we're looking for anything good. Only three cards left. All right, Glass Casket doesn't do it. Omen of the Sun doesn't do it. Omen of the Sun is still good, though. They are obviously digging for something. I could just go for dig for removal and have a shot. Um, this gives us another scry as well. All right, we're going to keep this. Swing in. Down to one. We'll own the sun on the end step. Eliminates one of them. Okay. Down to two. All right. Pass the turn. Uh, make sure that I sack on the up end step here as well. A Doom Foretold would actually be pretty nice. Turgrid's Lantern would actually also be pretty sweet. Okay, Elspeth's Nightmare. Alright, so they get to take something from our hand. We have to flash out Omen of the Sun now. All right, so we can't actually represent lethal anymore. They also can't attack in. All right, so we'll go ahead and activate... Binding of Gods and Doom Foretold. 
That should give us lethal. All right, two on top. All right, binding. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Oh, Yorion! Oops. Sorry, <laughs> no, I attacked it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no attack past the turn. Darn it. Darn it. Doom for Told is good. Wait, I was I was doing the heads up play of making sure we had something out on board for the Doom for Told. I mean, come on, guys. Clearly, that's what's up. Oh, I forgot about the Yorion. Or the Vorinclex, I mean. All right, well, now Doom for Told. They can gain some life. Yorion might come back to hand before Vorinclex. No, because they have to have the blocker for the Yorion. Um, cycles. Doom Foretold is a pretty good draw there. They still haven't found their ultimatum. This is like the first time they don't have ultimatum in hand. Like, that's so strange. Oh, crap. That's bad. Flipping Curie best at Sea God, man. So dumb. <laughs> come on. <laughs> All right, sacrifice binding, I guess. It's another binding. We'll just play it out for the fun of it. They still have to get rid of something. Uh, Kiora can still our doom foretold. We only need two points of damage. Come on. Uh, <laughs> dang it. Are we dead before? So how much damage did they get here? Uh, Cure, yeah, that's definitely the best thing to sack because I think they just have a slow lethal. So 14. Um, they have to keep Yorion back as a blocker, I believe, because we should untap on this next turn. Just swings there, okay. They're gonna lose the, not hitting with this, interesting. We need to keep the Yorin as an attacker as well. Treacherous Blessing. Let's draw some more cards. Have a good thing to sack with Doom Foretold. Nice. Soul Shatter. Um, Soul Shatter kills the Vorinclex. The 8-8 eight eight stays on board. Because that was our graveyard. Um, so not going for Doomscar, right? Because that just doesn't... The one nice thing is that... So they sacrifice the Elswith's Nightmare. If they don't find another permanent in time... If they don't find another permanent in time, then we have the shot of Doom Foretold just killing them with the two points of damage. Because they also lose two life, right? Um... They have to sacrifice something anyway, so let's let, let's get out more stuff for now. We can hold off a little bit longer. Pass the turn. We don't want to get our life hold too low either, though. So Elsa's Nightmare goes away. We can kind of gauge and see if they have anything here. If they don't have another permanent, then we have a decent shot. All right, so using Soul Shatter stops Foreign Clex. We take one instead of six, so I'm fine with that. Foreign Clex gone. Sack Treacherous Blessing. Now they at least sack Yorion at the upkeep, and we get to hit him with Yorion. Uh, I can also just kill their board. As long as they don't have an, if they have an omen of the sea, then we're still in trouble. We get another Yorion anyway. From the Valky dying, okay, Doomscar. Uh, Yorion. There we go. Whew. What a game! Wow. Oh gosh. 
They never found the ultimatum. I think as soon as they had found an ultimatum, we were dead. Just because it gets too many good cards at once. Uh, but hey, we can beat we we beat the deck. We are the better ultimatum deck. Uh, I definitely don't believe that typically, but take that fool. We won this game. <laughs> All right, up against Jamie, one, two, three, and Glass Casket, Doom Scars. Uh, we don't have the second white source, but we're going to find it, and life is going to be great. Totally. Uh oh, this might be bad. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I mean, a turn three Doom Scar is amazing if we find it, uh, if we find the white mana for it. If we don't, then. Hopefully turn four, turn five, Doom Scar is still okay. Turn three board wipe, man. It's so good. Selfless Savior. Terror Grid. Well, no guarantee on it, so I think I'm just gonna use Glass Casket. Do I want to glass casket the selfless savior? We can kind of dodge around. That does mean I make our Doom Scars better if we do find them. Let, let's go and foretell this time. Pass the turn. Speaker of the Heavens. Oh, Heavens the best. Down to 19. Home in the sun. Well, that's a better play here than Glass Casket as well. Pass the turn. Daxoth. That's some extra life gain for them. So if they swing with both, we own in the sun, we block both, they sack self savior to keep Speaker of Heavens alive. That's fine. All right, play out Omen of the Sun. Yeah, we, we know this is going to happen. That's fine. We need to force it anyway. And then Glass Casket kills Daxos. Daxos technically gains more life than the Speaker now. Um, nice. Very, very nice. All right, so now we have um, Doomscar online for the next turn. So I think we actually Glass Casket the Selfless Savior. Just to force the Doomscar to be more damaging. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. A glass casket, hit the selfless savior, they sack it, they gain some life. This is also showing like, yes, that is a doom scar there. What you gonna do about it? Do you have a third selfless savior? Hopefully not. That'd be ridiculous. No attacks, pass the turn. Now even if they get up to 27 life somehow, we destroy angels as well. Mall of Sky Claves, okay. That does stick around afterwards. So they do get up to 27. They get up to even higher than that. We will jump. And then we have another Doom Scar for later. If we find land, then I'm just going to fire off this one. All right, so um, technically we do still need more green mana. All right, let's go. Yeah, just Doomscar. I could also Yorion Blink hit the Glass Casket on Speaker of Heavens, Omen. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, Doomscar. We have this for later. Right now, everything can just die. Okay, down to 30. Heliod. Ooh. Uh, nothing in the graveyard yet. Do I want to go for Turgrid here? Or the Lantern? 
Uh, let's go. Let's just go ECD. I can blink it with Yorion, right? So ECD hit the Yor uh, Heliod. Make them feel real bad about themselves. We have Glass Casket for any cheap thing they play. We can e uh, ECD. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Uh, Speaker of Heavens is a little bit annoying, for sure. But we can also Doomscar with Yorion out, and we're fine. All right, we need to find black mana. We have two white, two blue, or two blue. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. We need to get to Eerie Ultimatum. Is what I'm trying to cite. All right, Yorion. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Go to the end step. Alrighty. Um. So Elspeth conquers death. They could have Skyclave Apparition and bring back Luris. We have Doomscar to still deal with stuff. Do I kill about all the Skyclaves at all? Actually, you know what? Let's just go Luris here. Speaker here. And now we have six damage to hit in. Keep their life total a little bit lower. Nice. All seed. It's the equip on. I'm fine with the Doom Scar as well because um, our stuff ends up coming back with ECD. In fact, I might just want that anyway. So maybe I swing all in and then Doomscar. Bring Yorion to hand. I, I really don't need to. I guess that might be a little bit too greedy. Down to 28. I can also just get out Lantern right now and start untapping with it as well. All right, now we have the mana for Ultimatum. Do we have any creatures in the graveyard? Um, I can Lantern and Doomscar. Yeah, let's just do that. All right, so Doomscar. Lantern. Turgid might have been better to go for there. Um, just because it's a, it is an attacker that can hit for quite a bit. But with how much mana we have, I think this will end up doing more. And we don't have anything necessary to play play with it just yet. Okay, wall goes there. Guess what comes back? Oh yeah, we have that. Um, I might not want to blink the omen. I meant to tap here. Let's uh, do I get a chance to resolve? No, because once I target, it's it's done, right? So I I should have done this in beforehand. Uh, glass casket, omen of the sun. Calyx won't be able to exile this unless I leave the omen of the sun around. We don't actually get to hit him here. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather just make sure they don't get a Speaker of the Heavens. The selfish will be brought to order by my hand. Return to your place, interloper. Also make him lose some life here. Yorion comes to hand now. And exile you. That yeah, feels good. <laughs> Pretty sweet stuff right there. I could definitely see us also playing like an Archon of Sun's Grace. Uh, that's probably the one other card that could be nice in here as like a two of. But hey, ranking up Platinum Tier 2, not too shabby. Up against I am inevitable. Um, with another untapped land, we have Doomscar in turn 3. Otherwise, 
we have good stuff. Yeah, this is this is this is a good hand. These are really good three drops that do answer lots of things. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> that's the dream. All right, so keep this. Untapped land? No. Well, we're going to play as though we can get the Doomscar on turn three. We'll see. World tree first. We, I mean, we, not, we might not want to be playing Doomscar. Yeah, I, I love these card sleeves. I had these ones for, forever. Some good stuff. All right, they're also foretelling things. Um, in that case, let's just make sure that we get to our third land for Omen of the Sun. Pass the turn. Um, is this Behold the Multiverse? Foretells another one, okay. Because it's likely going to be like Sock coming, I might just lead off with this Omen of the Sun right away. I do want that to resolve. I could also play it out and have something else resolve, but like, what else are we trying to get resolved, right? Um, all right, let's grab black mana. We're going to throw this out on white because everything... Interesting. Uh, we have three, three mana spells. Let's just... I could, I could go for the Elspeth... Nightmare, but it actually doesn't stop these things as much. Let's just get some power on the board. Pass the turn. Thank you. Yeah, dodging around the sock coming as much as possible. That's all of the, the world trees. Nice. Uh, Temple of Silence. Soul Shatter. No. Um, all right, do I want to foretell or hold up Soul Shatter? Elsa's Nightmare could also be pretty decent just to get some discard. Um, let's just foretell for now. Pass the turn. the form Engine. Well, absolutely getting rid of that right away ah na na <laughs> not dealing with that crap that has so much shenanigans available all right now they have all the colors they bolt themselves down to thir 13 All right. Epiphany, extra turns, cool. Search for glory. It's for a snow card or a legendary card or saga card. Okay. That's quite a few things. Showdown of the Scalds. Can play it out now. Draw some extra stuff. Got all frost and fire. Um, another ECD. We don't actually have anything in the graveyard to bring back with stuff. So let's just go. Yorion to hand. Could go for Elspeth's Nightmare. Anything they cast can make these guys bigger. Um... Either way, we're playing Triome. Let's just do that real quick. Either way, we're attacking in. Let's do that real quick as well. Um, I could get rid of other stuff from hand, which could be nice. Let's let's bring Yorion to hand first. We can also his Nightmare. And then maybe do some other stuff later. We can uh, Soul Shatter, or we can also Nightmare the one drop and then Soul Shatter the other one. If it ends up getting too big for us to handle. We 
We do also have Aerial Ultimatum online pretty soon. Uh, too many white sources. We need one more green source. Yeah, one more green source. Or black source actually would work too. And then we have ECD. We throw out like Elsa's Nightmare. Maybe we sacrifice the Omen of the Sun. We could also get some other stuff going. Winning with Ravens, huh? Oh, uh, that's pretty nice. You know what, let's go ahead and attack in real quick. They draw a card and get a peek of our hand if they hit with a 1-1. A one, one. So I'm actually, I, I want them to trade off here real bad. Could also just Doom Scar, kill their stuff. They don't get any card draw. Um, We still got to take a peek at hand. Yeah, sure. You can grab something from the sideboard. It's probably going to be like an Ugin right now. And so I actually want to hold on to either ECD or Soul Shatter. Another Epiphany would be annoying. I mean, they do Exile, so at least they're not going to have more than four. And if they're not doing any crazy shenanigans, we have a shot, right? World Tree itself could be really annoying. How many cards is in this deck? Okay, it's just a normal 60, it looks like. Why are you tapping like that? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Just play your colors. You definitely don't have anywhere close to World Tree yet. All right. Search for glory. Gain three life. Waking the trolls. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that is annoying because we, we're further away from... Uh, your ultimatum now, but we also are fine. Alright, so ECD definitely hit the Waking the Trolls. We have Yora and a Blanket for something else if we need to as well. They probably have another Waking the Trolls here. That would definitely be the best thing to, play, to grab, probably. Although it just goes on top. And then if they have ult, uh, Epiphany. Actually, I really like this card with uh, with Alrun's Epiphany. Yep. Cool. So they have something from the sideboard on top now. Could be an Ugin. Genesis Ultimatum. I think I prefer that over an Ugin personally. Depends on if they had an Ugin here or another Waking Trolls or whatever. Bad stuff can definitely happen. We get to play Doom Foretold and get rid of whatever permanent they play. Battle Frost and Fire. That does kill their Ravens. Yep, should have attacked in first. Cultivate to hand. Could have let something else come to hand as well. Calyx. I guess Yorion does as much as Doom Foretold would right now. Um, Kallax can put this here as well. Let's go... Let's just do the Yorion for now. I want to keep their spells a little bit more expensive with Yorion for another turn. You saw it in hand. What did, what did you expect? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you could have played around that just fine. What did they bring? 
so the, the, it was the ultimatum they brought back to him. They have Fay of Wishes to go grab something else from the from the sideboard. This game's definitely not over at all. But I, I at least like our position. If they kill our other green source again with another waking controls, that would be annoying. Uh, they do they have enough for waking controls? They have exactly enough for waking controls from the sideboard. I feel like they would have used it last turn though. I, I guess they. I don't know. I don't know. Waking controls is definitely interesting. Doom Patrol takes care of it though. Overflowing Insight. They're actually one mana away from being able to cast that. They have eight and they need nine. There's another Epiphany. That'd be so dumb. Um. All right, we'll attack in. Dude, I need card draw right now. You were told. So, if the player can't, they discard a card, lose two life, you draw a card, gain two life. I guess so. It might be better to hold off on the Doom Foretold. I can also draw with Calyx, but I need I need a land to draw into. Um, I really need green mana. This can use our green mana that we have now. Also, just getting to the ultimate is something to go for, right? I, I guess so, sure. Let's just try to go for the ultimate, I guess. Of the All of our lands. Actually, no green mana though, so sure. Peace the out there, fool. Light our way. That was a not fun whiff. <coughs> this just shows that we have something to do. Okay, Overflowing Insight draws all the cards. Cool. They shouldn't have too much mana to use with it here, though. They don't have enough for an Epiphany. Not with ECD still. Decides not to bolt themselves. Interesting. Weird. Doomscar. Alright, well, I'm glad we got out Calyx at least. And now we can bring back Yorion. Sweet. Thank you. Not a land. Come on, heck. You're only a flipping bone here. Alright, I do want this to keep uh, ticking up, so don't blink the Calyx. Tick up. There's all of our green mana. All, all of our green mana. Man, we went twice in a row. Come on. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, Doomfordal Doom for just a draw. We really need to get to this area ultimatum bad. Um, and then it's in the graveyard for Calyx. We go for Elsa's Nightmare. I don't think they care about discarding right now. I'd rather deal with something important. Ugin would be nice to kill. Okay, Omen of the Sun, gain some life. I have a decent amount of power on board as well. We definitely aren't doing the same kind of shenanigans they're doing. There, There is that downside. Um, all right, Ugin does come out. We get to Soul Shatter. To act rashly is the to Please play something else before you, Ugin. Try it, I dare you. Fine. Um. Just in case they have a counter spell. Hold off. My failure, Clovis. Return to the essence of the multiverse. Definitely the worst thing here is another Waking the Trolls. We need another land off the top for ECD, and we just got rid of seriously eight lands off the top of our deck. Alright, this is Soul Shatter now. Okay, Ugin's gone. 
Wouldn't mind finding a Turgrade as well. Could be good stuff. Only 18 or 19 cards left. Maybe we win by milling them out. Or them milling themselves out with all this stuff. <laughs> They're playing all of their sideboard and all of their deck before we get down to the top 20 cards of our deck right now. We need a Treacherous Blessing. We need some card draw. Dave wishes. Come on, lands. Is this the granted side? Yeah, granted side. Cool. Trying to draw through their stuff quicker? Sure. All right, pathway. Um, Doom for told just exile stuff. I could go ECD just to discard. Sure. If we find another land, uh, another black source or green source, we have Aerie Ultimatum. Having Doom Foretold in the graveyard could actually be pretty nice for us. Why Midnight Clock? I mean, they're close to getting the World Tree to go off, but they haven't actually had that many things. Um, are you down to nine? We need to draw a card. Not a, not a land. Hey, we're getting closer to it, though. Waking it. Oh, for the love. Sure. Weapon hack. Well, we still have ECD to use. I'm glad they haven't had any counter spells yet. That's at least something. Dang it! We do die to waking the trolls before too long. Crippling Fear doesn't quite kill them all. So we have to hit a land here for ECD, or we dead. Kills our other green source, yep. Come on, land. I believe in you. That's not a land. That's a thing that we can play, though. All right, we have one more turn to draw land. All right, no attacks, pass the turn. Come on, deck. No more waking the trolls from them. Down to 16 cards left. We're still at 24. Yorion's going to slow the, uh, speed up the clock a lot, too. Steals our green source from... Dude, this has been rough. We we haven't found any Binding Little Gods either, like any of our ramp spells, anything that works well for us. Samaria's Call, cool. Now Crippling Fear becomes even worse. And an Epiphany. I think we're just dead now. Yeah. Oh, that was so brutal. Come on. You should play out these guys, yeah, because that gives you, I think, exactly enough for lethal. For no, we'll go down to four on this turn. They get a massive amount of trolls. Very, very many trolls. Uh, even Doom Square off the top doesn't win it for us because we don't have the land. Oh my gosh. It all went so bad. Come on, mill yourself out. <laughs> Take up that midnight clock up to whatever. Oh my goodness. All right, yeah. Good game. That's cool. 
<laughs> just, I mean, we, I guess we did hit lands. They just destroyed them. So, I mean, they, they did what they needed to do. We weren't interacting with them enough. And that's one of the biggest issues of not playing blue in a more controlling deck is that unless we have discard, which we do sometimes have, and maybe I should have been throwing out Elspeth's Nightmares beforehand. Um, I don't know. They, they just played well. All right, guys, only three games here, but three really long games. Uh, and we had two wins, one loss. Uh, beat the ultimatum deck, which was surprising. I definitely think that going into blue for counter spells for better interaction in some ways is useful in meta right now. Uh, and so, but I just love playing Abzan. I love playing the other stuff. I don't think we found a single Binding of the Old Gods. Oh, we found them when there was a Voran clicks out. So we never have had a Binding of the Gods work for us anytime during that, during that. And that's a big card in here. I think I also might want two copies of Cultivate in the deck as well um, somewhere. I think maybe drop one Birth of Meltis, have some Cultivates um, just because hitting our colors would seem to be a little bit hard to do. And we didn't have that much ramp ultimately. Birth of Meltis helps us. Binding of the Gods helps us. You know, it's like we did have ways. We have Treacherous Blessing for a card draw and so it wasn't like we didn't have anything that that worked for us to get some value but we could probably use just a little bit more so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like subscribe all that stuff i'll see you guys in the next one thanks so much and bye